The Bud RB-1 Conestoga was a unique American transport aircraft created during the critical years of the Second World War. Its development began as the United States faced a shortage of aluminum, the primary material for military aircraft. To maintain production rates, the government initiated studies in 1942 to 1943 on alternative materials. Stainless steel became a promising candidate thanks to its availability, lower cost, and resistance to corrosion. Although unsuitable for high-performance combat aircraft due to its weight, it offered potential for auxiliary and transport designs. The Bud Company of Philadelphia, previously known for manufacturing railroad cars and automotive bodies, was contracted to develop a steel aircraft using its expertise in metal fabrication and welding. With no prior aviation experience, Bud formed a new engineering division staffed by external aeronautical specialists. The United States Navy served as the primary customer and advisor. Early expectations were high. The Navy planned to procure 200 aircraft, and the Army intended to buy 600 more under the designation C-93, while the Navy version carried the designation RB-1. The resulting aircraft was a twin-engine high-wing transport with a large, box-shaped cargo compartment measuring 888.25 feet. The raised cockpit, positioned above the nose, maximized internal volume. The stainless steel airframe relied almost entirely on welded construction, with fabric-covered sections on the outer wing to reduce weight. A hydraulically operated rear loading ramp, still uncommon at the time, allowed vehicles, stretchers, pallets, and general cargo to be loaded efficiently. Internal equipment included a one-ton winch and a ceiling-mounted hoist. Power came from two Pratt & Whitney RE3092 radial engines driving three-blade variable pitch propellers. The aircraft carried up to 4.7 tons of cargo, significantly more than the aluminum C-47, but suffered from higher empty weight, reduced range, and landing gear reliability issues. By late 1943, the United States aluminum shortage had ended, making the steel aircraft unnecessary. The Army canceled its order, and the Navy reduced its request to only 25 units. Bud completed 17 production aircraft before halting assembly in 1944. The Navy used the RB-1 briefly as an auxiliary transport, then transferred the fleet to the War Assets Administration in 1945. Most aircraft entered civilian freight service, notably with National Skyway Freight Corporation, later Flying Tiger Line, operating in the western United States and Mexico. Mechanical issues, especially recurrent exhaust system failures, caused several accidents, though most crews survived. Over time, all Conestogas except one were scrapped. The sole surviving airframe, heavily stripped and incomplete, is held by the Pima Air and Space Museum in Tucson, Arizona. Though unlikely to be restored, it remains an important artifact. Despite its short service life, the Bud RB-1 pioneered concepts that later became standard on military transports. The rear loading ramp, a spacious rectangular cargo bay, lowered cargo floor height, and a cockpit elevated above the payload area. The Conestoga stands as a rare example of a stainless steel aircraft and a transitional step in the evolution of modern airlift design.